When you read the Bible, there are a lot of things we can take for granted living in a different time and place than when Jesus was on the earth over 2,000 years ago. We need to learn to be Bible detectives, looking at the little details in stories to make sure we're getting a complete picture of what was happening and what we can learn. Today we're going to visit a well in the region of Samaria. We're going to learn about an encounter Jesus had with a woman while she was drawing up water from the well and do a fun experiment that brings the Bible to life right before your eyes. The town of Nablus is in a region of the country known as the West Bank, just 30 miles from Jerusalem. During the first century, Nablus was known by a different name, Sychar. This was the place Jesus decided to stop for a rest, mentioned in the Bible in John chapter 4. If you travel to Nablus today, it's home to a church building that has something rather peculiar in the basement. A well, used for drawing water, believed to be dug by Jacob and his men more than 3,500 years ago. And it's at this spot where scholars believe Jesus asked a Samaritan woman for a drink of water while he rested by the well. Samaritans, like this woman, and Jews, like Jesus, didn't talk to each other. Jews tended to look down on Samaritans. But does that sound like something Jesus would do? we see that the woman is surprised when Jesus asks her for some water. In John chapter 4, verse 9, we see her response. How is it that you, being a Jew, ask a drink from me, a Samaritan woman? Jesus saw this as a teachable moment. He started talking about the living water that he could provide, which would quench thirst forever. The woman didn't understand what Jesus was referring to when he talked about living water. And in response, she says in verse 11, Sir, you have nothing to draw water with, and the well is deep. Where then do you get that living water? Notice her statement, the well is deep. This is one of our clues that can be pulled out of the text to help bring the scripture to life. Have you ever drawn water from a well? If you live on a farm, maybe. But for most of us, we go to our sink, turn the faucet on, and the water comes pouring out. No bucket necessary. That wasn't the way you get your water during the first century. You needed to walk to a well, much like this woman was doing. When I visited Naples with Jeremy DeHutt, we drew water from the well and performed a little experiment. Take a look. I'll tell you what, why don't you draw some water for us? Okay, Jeremy, there's one other thing I want you to do for me. I want you to dip a cup of this water and pour it down the well. And I want you to be real quiet, I want you to listen so you can see how deep it is. How high up is that? It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It's gotta be well over 100 feet deep. Wow. Isn't that amazing? This Samaritan woman provided a clue for us in our Bible study that we can verify over 2,000 years later. Why is that important for us today? Because there are small clues throughout the Bible that might seem insignificant or meaningless, but that help prove the point that the Bible is real. Nothing in the Bible is there by accident. This conversation between Jesus and this woman shows that these were real people, these are real places, and these are real events. Next time you read your Bible, look for those small clues that show that the Bible is real.